Hello and welcome to tutorial 33 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language. And um, if you're not on our Markplex email list, then please go to markplex.com and join the list. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be looking at one of the quirks of TradeStation, you might say, and that is the the um, timing of the bars and particularly how that relates to the end of day on 24 hour instruments such as the uh, such as foreign exchange so for example let's just zoom in here at the current bar and what I've done I've just added a little uh, text thing here showing what the current time is but if we hover over that bar we'll see that actually this bar is the 1800 the 6 p.m. bar where as you can see the actual time is 1741 so in TradeStation, the the the, uh, the time of a bar is actually when the bar ends. So that normally works fine, but if we get, for example, here's the uh, that's uh, the 23rd. This is 24th, and this is the the midnight bar, the 0000, 0, 0, 0 bar. Now you'll see that the date of this bar is the 24th, whereas this is the actual time when this bar ends. So for example. If you wanted to really find the close of the day, you'd need to find the close of this bar as opposed to the close of this bar. So let me just uh, show you a small little program that I've written here. And you'll see that we're printing, well, first of all, we're saying if the day, if date is different from the date one bar ago, in other words, it's gone from one day to the next, then yesterday close of day is equal to C one bar ago. And then we've printed here uh, the date, the time, yesterday, close of day, this value here that we've just uh, calculated, and also close D1, which means the close of yesterday. And if you look, let's just go back to the chart and then look at what we get in the printout. So, for example, the 24th, it's telling us that the, the close of the day was 163.394. And if you see on the chart here that is actually the close of the 2330 bar so that is incorrect the actual close of that day if we were on a 24-hour uh, instrument such as foreign exchange in fact any um, stock or commodity that depending on your time scale goes over the midnight period then the actual close is that that, that we need is the close of this bar so um, just going to clear that and Let's go back to the program and what I've done is made a little uh, created a, a slightly different way of doing this that will show us the correct close of the day so here we go this is the um, this is a program what we're saying is if the date is not the same as yesterday date if the time is zero in other words if it's midnight and we've got to the close of that bar then yesterday close of, of day is equal to C but if time is not equal to zero, then yesterday close of day is equal to C one bar ago, which was the way that we just calculated it. And then we're just printing out the close of day here like we did before. So I'm just going to press F3 to um, validate that. And now let's just go to this same bar here. So we're saying that the the close of this bar, the close of this day should be 163.466 and if you look here you can see that that indeed is the case. So what we need to also do is just make sure, for example, on the 20th here, the um, first bar of the day is 17.30. So let's just go back to the 20th and just see if that calculates correctly. Okay, so here we are. So that's 17.30. Now, that would not be the correct bar to calculate the close of the day. We'd actually want to look at that from the previous bar, which gives us a close of 162.699. And there you, there you can see that that is actually the value that we have, uh, we've got there. By the way, I should just mention that today's tutorial was created using TradeStation 8.6 build 2612.